What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back and today we jump into a quiet place the road ahead and to be completely transparent with you I had no idea this game existed until about 48 hours before it released nevertheless I'm glad we found it and I hope it stays true to the movies but one last thing before we begin I had some audio issues I tried out a new feature I tried out the Nvidia broadcast so for the first half of the video I believe things sound good but then you'll notice my voice changes as I revert back to the OBS function, which does a much better job at keeping my audio at a level base. The NVIDIA broadcast was all over the place. Anyways, enough talk. The name's Mad Max, and I hope you enjoy the show. Leucistic white-tailed deer. Uh, Lewis, what now? <laughs> Leucistic means they have patches of white fur. Ah, uh, I, I thought that was called getting old. Okay, this is a huge deal. They're incredibly rare. <laughs> oh, I'd love some rare venison. Oh, you're a girl after my own heart. Did you hear that? Hear what? Wait here. I'm gonna check it out. Martin, hold on. Martin! What is this dude doing? Where the hell did he go? Yeah, listen here, you a-hole. Why don't you walk away from me? Dude! <laughs> Look how freaking pretty this is. Oh my. Holy crap. Okay, let's keep going. See? That was quick. I was ready for that one. This dude just straight up walked off. Vault over low walls and obstacles when an inner action point is visible. Okay. Oh, our hands were sexy. Guys, holy crap. Oh. Ah. Be careful and always watch your step. Different surfaces like water, dry leaves, glass, metal, or debris can produce a noisy sound and alert the nearby creatures. That's good to know. So be quiet. Looks like we have to walk through it. When you can't avoid noisy surfaces, walking slower attenuates the sound. Move slightly. Oh. So. Oh, look at that. So now we're like tiptoeing. What's up, little dudes? <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. It's a little slow for me, though. Guys, we thought Sons of the Forest was pretty. I mean, it is. But check this out. This is beautiful. Oh, that's one of those spots, right? Yep, here we go. Climb up or drop from certain ledges by interacting with them. Okay. Got some climbing action going on. Ooh. It's like a little cabin over here. Oh. Uh. Uh, we gotta walk slow, right? I'm freaking pumped. I can't believe I didn't know about this game. Huh. Yeah, that ain't funny. We don't play that. We don't do random open doors. Oh, God. 
What is that? That's a fishing pole. And an old plate. You can squeeze through narrow passages. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Dude, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I would not be doing this. Christ. Open doors slowly to avoid unnecessary noises. But I can't... I can't open that. Oh. Oh! Oh, guys, that is going to freaking kick my ace. You can set custom sensitivity values for doors and analog. Okay. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh. Oh, God, look at that. I'm not going to see. Oh! I'm not going to be able to see any of that. Is that going to get us freaking killed? that dude's hat <laughs> shit ooh seriously where is he Boom! oh god i Whoa. want to suck your blood <laughs> oh you're a fucking child <laughs> oh come on come on that was funny if you're five oh just admit it i got you pretty good no no you didn't i just i didn't know where you were I didn't know if you were hurt or... Uh, Alex. And, and I can't... I can't lose another... Oh. Oh, we're freaking out. We're having a panic attack. Alex, what's wrong? Oh, Jesus. Shit. Hey, hey, hey. What, what do you need? Huh? Alex. Come on, come on. Please, please, please. Tell me how to help. Okay? Martin? Mom? What is it? I, I don't know. She, she just... Alex, it's me. Oh, it's mom's Laura. hot. Can you look at me, dear? <laughs> okay, that's it. Just look at me. And breathe. Breathe. There you go. Everything's gonna be alright, Alex. Oh. Day 105. Alex. Man. That cries for the rain. This place is huge. Should we split up? Could be dangerous. Well, more reason to search this place as fast as possible. What? We need food, Alex. Without it, the hospital won't make it. <sighs> okay, no. Red Cloud Ranch. Look for batteries, too. My flashlight just died. And for a radio. Why? Something I'm building could help all of us. Keep quiet. Right now, Mr. Okay, so, yeah, we're... Okay, sorry, guys, I'm a little slow. So we're in it now. 105 days in, I guess, to the event. And I don't want to spoil anything if you haven't seen the movies. But the first movie, there is a situation where they're able to talk. And the rain is, I guess, similar to that? I don't know. Reason sign language. I must explore the ranch and find supplies or the hospital is screwed. Stay calm. Raiders beware. Okay. I'm gonna keep moving. I don't know if I need to We got here. It worked. I know you told me not to try it, but damn it, Tom, it worked. Traveled to that waterfall about a half mile from here and snapped my fingers. Nothing. No creatures. 
Then I spoke at full volume for the first time since before the invasion, and still nothing. Finally, don't kill me, I yelled. And still not a single creature. I mean, it's not a permanent solution, but at least we know louder noises will keep the creatures from hearing us. I told you, Tom. I freaking told you. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, guys. Now, if the tutorial shows anything... Oh, God. Alright, guys. So, we are getting some skipping. Some clashing frames and all that stuff. Again, the game is, is literally brand new. This is day one release. Oh, look. Is there a sand? Let me stay on that. If you can see anyone, tell Dad. Okay. Remember, hide and seek. We don't have a flashlight either. Now again, guys, I was just trying to say I'm, I'm distracted. This game is beautiful and the tone, everything just changed. Um, I'm, I'm playing this game day one, which I don't normally get a chance to do. So... We may get a lot of shuddering. I, I don't know. Alright, there's glass right there. We don't want to... We don't want to do that. What we got here? Can I open this? I don't know if I can actually go in there. It doesn't look like I can. I can't interact with it. Okay. We're gonna keep moving this way, guys. Reception. We're looking for food, right? But that's the kitchen. Oh! Diary, you can see documents you found. <laughs> I'm jumpy. You can see documents you found in Alex's thoughts by opening a diary. Okay. What do we got? We got to the ranch. Martin was right. The place seems abandoned but in good condition. We could find something useful here. I can hear Laura blaming me for putting her son in danger, even if this was his idea, but our people need food and medicine. She hates. She hates me. We can't go back empty-handed. Oh, dude, that sucks. Oh. oh. <laughs> I was just under. So in the movies, that's how they walk around. Again, I'm going to stop talking about the movies because I don't... If they hear you, they hunt you. Oh, God. Infirmary. Okay, it's medical. Let's tiptoe right here. What we got? Ernest, that damn kid snuck into my office again. I swear to God, he must be getting into the office through the upstairs vent. And before you ask, yes, I'm certain I locked the door. Now, will you go check, Glenn? Oh, look at it. I just, re I just realized that it... I just realized that it highlighted it. So, getting into the office to the upstairs vent. So, this must be his office. Yeah. I need batteries. Mom loves you. Alright, so we gotta go upstairs. I think. Let dad get the medicine. This is the infirmary. They hear everything. Yes, they do. That's locked too. That wasn't the same thing. Alright, let's go upstairs. Let's see if we can break into this guy's office. Oh! Did we step on something? Joshy, don't make a noise. We're going upstairs. Let's get quiet. Oh my god, guys, my freaking heart rate is pounding. Jesus game looks good. Okay, what we got here? I need a key for that. We gotta walk over some stuff here. Rooms one through four. Room two. This is the vent. Remove. I gotta find a screwdriver. Oh my god! Oh 
Oh, there's freaking scratches on the wall. This is crazy. I don't know if I gotta go out there just yet. That's locked too. Let's go this other way and uh, see if I can't find a screwdriver real quick. That's locked. I can't see anything. I guess we're going back outside. Here we go. That said hold to skip. Oh god! Oh no. Holy crap. It's okay, girl. We got this. Get back up. Get back up. Why is that showing our lungs? Okay. Oh, we have freaking asthma. That's right. Oh, my God. Does that mean we can have like an asthma attack or something if we freak out? I'm like forgetting what we're supposed to be looking for, guys. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, there's the screwdriver. I don't want to go back that way, though. Oh, there we go. We can go right there. But I'm curious. I want to keep looking. Remember hide and seek. I don't want to play hide and seek with anything. All right, yeah, let's let's just keep going. We've got to find a flashlight. I don't like that I can't see. God, dude, I'm gonna develop asthma after this. Oh yeah, look, it's like when we do physical assertion. Our lungs get all jacked up. Oh, dude, hell no. What if we gotta run? Dear, my dear Maupin, AKA Lydia. It's actually Sarah, but all good. And what the F, are teachers even allowed to do that? Thank you for the beautiful letter. It gave me something to treasure while my mom made me go hiking. And HFS, I love D. Albany? My parents got me a biography about her for Christmas. A not so subtle, yeah, we know. And it is romantic AF. Does that mean you'll, like, kill a nobleman to earn my eternal devotion or something? Because I would have been good with flowers. Au revoir, Sarah. P.S. Today was when your class was going horseback riding, right? Let me know how it went. Okay. So we got like some backstories. I feel like I'm yelling. But I don't I don't know. Alright, let's see. Oh my god. That's so cool, guys. You have to actually move the mouse. <laughs> This is kind of like alien isolation, but creepier. It looks like I went the right way. Oh my god. There's like a freaking statue of an animal right there. I thought that was something sitting there. 
Yeah, it's a freaking deer, or an elk, or a horse, or something. Nope. Oh god, don't go out. I like the light. Alright, so we can... Left, right. Okay, you gotta go up. Oh my god, look how intuitive this is. I flippin' love it. Okay, we did that nice and slow. We got a way out. But we're looking for something in here, right? What do we got here? Batteries? A radio? Electronics. That was like right. <laughs> Ooh. We got a map. Oh, <gasps> don't do it. Oh no. Christ. I've had enough of this stupid stomach bug. I must find a way to the infirmary and hope to find some pills. Oh my god, so not only do we have asthma, we've got other freaking issues. But look, there's pills everywhere. Oh god. Okay, what's this? Maggie, I got that old radio working. All day I've changed the frequency over and over again, looking for someone, anyone who could help us. I saw your reflection in the window, staring at me. Were you scared of me for killing that man? Accusing me of putting Joshi in danger, angry that I didn't have a way to fix it. I stared into your eyes for I don't know how long, trying to understand. That's when I heard it, through the radio. The National Guard. They've taken over some campgrounds not far from here. They'll take us in and they'll keep Joshi safe. They've got medical supplies and a couple trained soldiers. No raider will scare our son ever again. I'm not going to let you down, Maggie. Not this time. Your Eric. Guys, you know how much I love stories. <gasps> Here we go. So now we gotta go back upstairs. That was the key to the fourth floor, but the infirmary. Let's walk a little faster. The infirmary is right here. Which means what we need will hopefully be in that room. I don't know if we have to be so quiet, it's raining outside. Freaking nervous. Oh my. I don't want to go in here. I don't want to go in here. Black metal and kitties. For Sarah by me. It's Lydia, remember? So we just found a. I don't know what that is. Okay. Okay, here we go, another letter. Hey Sarah, with no H. Oh, thank God. I'm so glad you liked the letter. And that book sounds amazing. For Christmas, my parents got me a mug with my cat, Mr. Twinkle's face on it. They thought it was hilarious. Me and Mr. Twinkle's were not amused. Oh, and I know that you were, like, probably joking, but I picked this flower for you. I hope it doesn't get too crushed when I put it under your door. The front desk said it's a cardinal flower. Anyway, I hope you like it. Signed, your mall pin. Laugh out loud, just kidding. P.S. Oh, it wasn't bad. I think the horse knew I was terrified because it threw me off after like five seconds. That's when I went and picked you that flower. PPS. I may pick a few more flowers tomorrow if you want to join after lunch. Okay. So we got a little love, little love connection going on. really really hope there's like stories like that throughout the entire game all right that's the infirmary I think but I gotta read this letter Lydia you okay my mom's freaking out saying something fell from the sky be safe Sarah PS 
Let's rain check the flower picking, okay? Oh, dude. So they were like, Lydia and Sarah, yeah, they had a little thing going on. And what is that? What is that? Oh, <gasps> can I get that? Oh, <laughs> I know what that is. I think, I think. Remember hide and seek. Okay, yeah, I get it. Hide and seek. Guys, I, I haven't watched the movie in a long time, but I think that's an Easter egg from it. I think. We'll, uh, let's go get it. Let's go get it. Yes, 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 yes. I'm pretty sure this is, if you know, you know. Collect, when you find a shiny shuttle, you earn a certain number of credits. Depending on its rarity. The rarity is expressed by its color. All right, let's drop down. Oh God, there's someone in. Oh. Dude, calm down, calm down, calm down. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Hold it in. Girl, hold it in. Nausea stop, yeah, we need that. And an inhaler? What is that? Is this a pregnancy test? Oh! Uh-uh. Oh, girl, you don't got no stomach bug. Oh, dude, that would suck. Our, we already know it's coming. Oh, dude, you can feel the emotion. Oh, I got freaking, like, chills up my back. Shit. Oh. Well, girl, that's what happens. <laughs> oh. Oh, we are sexy. Why are we looking at ourselves in a mirror besides to tease me? I don't care if you're pregnant. Oh, God. What am I going to do? Should I tell him? I don't know for now. I need to find Martin. Tell who? Martin, I will keep you safe. Okay, let's read that real quick. I'm not ready. Not now. I can barely take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child in a world like this? What should I do? Mom, I wish you were here. God, man. You can, like... That cutscene, man, you could feel the tension. You could feel the, the emotion in it. But, okay. We gotta keep going. We can't think about that right now. We got nine months. Oh. Is it with this guy? I mean, look at this guy. Yeah, it's abandoned until one of these things busts through the freaking door and rips this guy's head off. Oh. Don't scream, not even in the safe room. Oh, man. Guys, I'm loving this. I'm so impressed by it already. Like, the, it, it's, it's so pretty. And then, like, all of the the lore is so much like the movie. It did a good job. So far, anyway. We haven't even made it that far into it. Batteries? No. Should we sleep here? Sure. Candles. Food. Deep breaths. Come on, deep breaths. Just breathe and light the candles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Do I have a lighter? Safe rooms are places where you can take a moment of relax before going back outside. In these rooms, you don't have to worry about making noises. They're soundproof. Okay. Well, that's good. Except screaming, right? Got a candle over here. Ooh, we got a letter. Got a couple things to 
take care of. Okay. All right. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, do that last letter because I'm assuming it'll probably go into a cutscene. I want to read. Oh dear God in heaven. Nope. But that's nice. Mom holds you as you sleep. Joshy. That's right. That's right. For a minute there, I forgot like where we are. Daddy. Picking flowers. I don't. What? School. That picture kind of confused me a little bit. Dad. Aw. Mom's in heaven. Is that it? Any more letters? My dad is the best. Better than the rest. He keeps me safe all day. He keeps the monsters away. He tells me not to make a peep and protects me when I sleep so I can dream of mom because when I sleep, she's not gone. Oh, dude, that's going to make me freaking tear up. Dang, man. This is so... It's so freaking emotional. This is so emotional. Like, already. Okay. Oh, we got another candle. Alright, dude, I lit all the candles. Though this room is not romantic at all. Give me your hand. Another prank? Never. This makes me want to go learn sign language. Freaking lungs. <laughs> We've got some hunting gloves like that. No thanks. Wow, you got to feed too now, woman. You okay. This is freaking hard. Oh god. Oh no. Asthma stress. Physical or mental stress aggravates Alex's asthma. Her condition is represented by the stress icon on the top left of the screen. When Alex's stress becomes critical, she will suffer an asthma attack. Try to keep the asthma stress to a low level by using inhalers and pills. Asthma attacks. When the stress level is too high, it can lead to an asthma attack. Avoid it by pressing F. With a green result, the asthma stress is reduced. With a yellow result, you'll avoid the crisis, but you're still one step away from it. With a red one, Alex will have an attack. Okay. So, what do I, what do, I do? Oh, God. Uh-oh. I think I messed up. Oh my god, this is gonna be so hard. What should we do? And we'll figure it out. When it cries, laughs. We'll keep it safe. How? I don't know, but, but we will. And your mom? She'll be a grandmother. Laura hates me ever since. You saved me that day. Alex. Finally, something good. Oh, this is so emotional. So emotional. They'll need supplies. Will the hospital have them? No, we're low on everything. There's a camp 
They'll have supplies. At this point, guys, I would move First, to a place. We'll bring food back to the hospital, then we'll go to the camp. I'll move somewhere that rains all the time, dude. Don't you put your hand around me like that. Where the hell do you think you're going? Now it begins. I suck at seeing things on the ground, guys. I'm going to die. Did that really happen? Am I going to be a first things first, get back to the hospital? Yeah. Hold up. We got we to turn freaking candles off, man. We're going to burn this place down. All right, let's see what that says. Martin is amazing. I won't say I'm not scared anymore, but knowing he's with me gives me strength. I'm still not optimistic about how Laura will react, but it's her grandchild we're taking. But it's her grandchild we're talking about. For God's sake, she should be happy, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> they play tic tac toe. Dude, this is gonna suck now, isn't it? about the wind <laughs> oh god this game doesn't have like a mic feature does it I don't think it does it hasn't shown that anyway Gotta stick with the sand. Stick with the sand. Now I just want to see one. Like this. My freaking my heart meter is just going Alex, crazy. 
You will get through this. Yes, I have a heart. I have a heart, guys. We will all get you through this. Oh, Me, this sucks. Laura. No, Laura can't find out. Why? You really want to tell her I'm pregnant with her grandchild? Laura's always at her best when she has a goal. Since Martin's death, Mark's been running things, which is bad for everyone. This could give her something to focus on. Besides her, her grief. She will never forgive me. Never. Well, she's gonna find out whether or not we tell her. Not, not if we leave. Leave? There's a, a campsite turned into a National Guard outpost. They've got supplies. Oh, we are not going anywhere. This pregnancy will be complicated. I can take care of you here. At a half burned down hospital out of supplies. Have you actually spoken to anyone at this camp? No, but... So we don't even know if the National Guard is still there. I'll... I'll find proof. No. You need to rest. Dad, please. Look, I'll find proof. Tomorrow I'll look for a radio and see if I can reach someone. And if the National Guard is at the camp? One step at a time. All right? You shouldn't have a dead flashlight. I'll get you a battery. No, I'll get it. Are there any nausea pills? Antimedics? I'm not sure. Someone broke into the medicine cabinet. Now Mark won't let anyone near it. Okay. I'll collect what I can, so we're ready to leave once you contact the camp. Just... be careful. God, man. <laughs> the emotional meter. Dad might need convincing, but I want to leave ASAP. I'll go to the storage room and grab some batteries and pills. Dude. What's this? Alex. I don't know what to say, but I'm here. Dad. Oh my god, guys. What's that? Ooh. Is that mom? Mom's hot. Alex, happy one month anniversary. I know it's super cheesy to celebrate being together for a month, but in this world, I'd say one month is quite the accomplishment. I love you. Martin, I owe you one waterfall retreat where you'll be able to sing as much as you want. Dude, oh my god. Martin wrote this that night at the ranch. Hey, I couldn't sleep last night, so instead I put together a list of potential baby names. These are totally just ideas, so feel free to circle any you like and cross out any you hate. What do you think our child will be like? I like to imagine they'll have your eyes and my chin, your smile and my hair, your creativity and my sense of humor, though as long as they don't inherit my dad's laugh, I'll be happy. Oh, who am I kidding? I'll be happy no matter what. They could be exactly like you or nothing like either of us and I wouldn't matter. That kid is going to get sick and tired of how much we love them. I don't know if I can read this. Dude, this is... <laughs> This is hard. Oh, wait. Surname. What do we want to do for their surname? I'm down to combine our last names, so Taylor Edwards? Edwards Taylor? Or do you want to do something really wild and squish it down into Taywards? Forget I suggested that. <laughs> okay, so names I like. I include girl. I included girls' names, boys' names, gender-neutral names, because, hey, a good name's a good name. And at some point, they might want to change their name anyway, which is cool, too. Evelyn. My grandmother's name was Evelyn. I never got to meet her. She died when my mom was pregnant with me, but I've heard a lot about her and it'd mean a lot to mom. Julia. For obvious reasons, your mom was one of the warmest people I ever met. We'll be in good shape if our kid is half as kind. Devin. Name of a kid who shared his juice box with me once. Legend. <laughs> Alan. An homage to my favorite writer that isn't as dorky as Edgar or God forbid Poe. Madison. Selfishly, every time our kid gets angry, I want the chance to say the quality dad joke. Man, they really put the mad in Madison. <laughs> Mauve. I think that's how you say that. Maeve? Mauve? I always like the name. I'm going to say Maeve. I think it's Maeve. I feel like it destines someone to have a fox, hawk, and spray paint stains on their fingertips. <laughs> anyway, that's what I got for now. Let me know which... Let me know which ones you like, which ones you hate, and feel free to add all your suggestions below. By the time our kid actually gets here, we'll probably have considered every name under the sun, which I'm more than okay with. Martin. God, dude, not only is it going to be a freaking horror game, but it's going to be emotional. A second. Just a second. That's all it took. Dragged away, haunting look. Can't turn back time. What's done is done. 
and I'm the one who held the gun. Moments come, moments pass. Oh, so fragile, not built to last. When I'm dreaming, I hear his cries. Gone so fast, no goodbyes. I play it back inside my head. What's said is said. What's dead is dead. They scratch that out. Moments come, moments pass. We're so fragile, not built to last. Oh, dude, is that us like as kids? No way. No freaking way. There's so much to do. Song ideas. Hell above. How hell actually comes from above, not down below. Fell from the sky the day laughter died. Hook. Best friend. How dogs couldn't how dogs couldn't have survived the invasion because they wanted to protect their owners. Man's best friend till the very end. Too sad. Yes? Chance to scream. How the one thing you want to do is the thing you absolutely can't. Can only scream when I dream. Dude, these are good, man. Last song. Song about being the last song any human ever wrote. Narrator knows that singing it will be her death so no one will ever get to hear the whole thing. But still wants to sing it anyway. And now I see this song is just for me. Hey, yeah, this song is just for me. What the F am I doing? I'll never get to write music for any of these stupid songs anyway. Ah, man, don't give up. They're really good. Alright, so what are we doing? Got our toothbrush. I think we got everything out of here, right? I'm guessing I can... It's kind of safe to walk around here. Oh, dude, is that... Oh, it's probably locked. No. <laughs> we probably should not go into Martin's room. Oh, God. Martin, I know you want to help. It's one of the many, many things I love about you. But you need to let me handle this. It's, it, is, it is my responsibility to care for everyone in this hospital, especially you. Just sit tight and I'll figure this out. Love, Mom. P.S. I wish you'd spend more time in your own room. Alone. You're safer that way. What a hooker. That's me, isn't it? That's us, and that's Alex. Dang, she's pretty. Machu Picchu, Brazil, Tokyo. Flipping airplane diagrams. Mom, I love you. Duh. Nothing's going to change that. Ooh. But you can't. But I need you to. But I'm asking you to do something for me. Stop being so... Go easy on Alex. Ever since the invasion, you've made her feel like shit. Treated her like crap. Made her feel even worse about what happened. You think she isn't beating herself up every day? You think she isn't carrying that guilt? Because she is. This morning, she said she wishes it had been her instead. You have any idea how effed up that is? And you're acting like you wish the same thing. And that's effed up. Not okay. If she hadn't taken that shot, done what she did, what did you think would have happened to me? She saved me. And Dad made his choice, would want her to do what he thought was... Oh, man, dude. The story is so freaking intense. A written debate between me and Martin. I wrote in blue ink, Martin in red. I didn't know it was the last time we'd be in my room together. Okay, so Martin's in red and we're in blue. So, are we doing this? I thought Laura forbade you. She also forbade me from dating you. That wasn't a matter of life or death. Oh, I beg to differ. I don't know. The only place in Miles we haven't looked for food is the ranch. Yeah, and we haven't looked because raiders were spotted there weeks ago. But still. What's the point in sitting here scared when we could actually go do some good? Okay. So Martin is the one that wanted to go to that ranch. It kind of made it sound like we wanted to. Bless this soft floor. <laughs> Ken, effective immediately, any communication with Laura goes through me. This is not up for discussion. Mark. And Kenneth, that's our father. Yep, figured that'd be locked. Let's go through here. Steal any pills? Well, someone did. Yeah, probably the Watson 
Lawrence. Or anyone else that was smart enough to get the hell out of here. No one is leaving until I find out who did this. I'm searching every room, including yours. You've gone off the deep end. Without Laura pulling on your leash. Watch it. Check, check what you want. I didn't take anything. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, we probably need to get out of here. Things are going to start getting pretty bad. And guys, when we find stuff, you know I'm going to read. So I hope you, you hunker down for the long haul. I know some of you guys really like it when everything gets red. And some of y'all are like, eh, I don't care. But we've got to find the... Uh, what is this? Amy, baby, I know you're hungry, but you can't make noise. Have the rest of mine, okay? Mommy and Daddy will get you more soon, I promise. Oh my god, dude, that would be so flipping hard. I guess we're going downstairs. Oh, storage room. It was right there in front of my face the entire time. Ooh, I feel like it just got really dark. My right, storage room. It's that way. I don't see anything that way. Another letter. Important. Laura is taking a much deserved rest. During this time, I will be in charge. This is best for the hospital. This is best for our community. This is how we survive and thrive. Mark. Ooh. Why's your door locked, ma'am? What do you got in there? You got something in there. Guess we'll keep going this way. And there it is. Yes. Yes. What's this? Important. Someone broke into the medicine cabinet and stole from us. If you know anything about this, you must tell me immediately. Failure to do so means failing to put your community first. Mark. Yeah, Mark sounds like a total douchebag. Ooh, it's dark in that corner. Oh no. this Ooh. what is that oh it's batteries oh there's the oh our cabinet's small but that's the broken lock right the nausea pills oh. <gasps> this area's off limits right sorry I, I just heard someone got into the pills and I was worried but I'll go okay good to see you're finally Laura will be glad to hear it. Creep? Dude, yeah, I would have used a much harsher word than that. That dude was creepy looking. Inventory. You can find different types of items around the world. You can store or equip them whenever you want. Use Q for tools, E for consumables. You can also see key items useful for your progress in the top right of the screen. Gotcha. Ooh, so now we got our flashlight. A flashlight that works like an actual flashlight. Alright, that was too close. We gotta get back to our room. Which way do we come from? Oh, <gasps> we came from that way. Well, we gotta go around now? What's that? Announcement. I know there have been concerns about my decision to decommission all radios, phones, and any other device that would allow us to communicate with the outside world. Please allow me to explain. Though it has only been a month since the invasion, it has become abundantly clear that encouraging people to come together in large groups is almost certainly a death wish. Look at what happened here when the invasion began. Hundreds of people filling these halls, screaming and begging for help, and all it did was lead those creatures straight to us. How many of our friends and families were wiped out by those things, or taken by the fire that engulfed the West Wing. All because there were too many of us. You put me in charge of our community for a reason. Trust my judgment. I will not let you down. Laura Edwards. You know, that, that really does have to be like a super hard job. What's this? Can't go in there either. Toilet. 
Finally, an unlocked door. <gasps> What's that? Yes? And we got some batteries. Can we go in the... <laughs> we're in the men's room. Can we go in the women's room? No, we cannot. Oh, we just walked around that way, right? I keep seeing that paper on the doors and it, lo it looks like there's people standing there. Okay. Info. Can't go in there either. How do we get back up? Oh. Yeah, it's dark. There we go. That wasn't too bad. I haven't really figured out how to, like, take the flashlight. Where's our dang room? Oh. Oh, this is dad's room. What's this? Is that our mom? That's our mom, isn't it? This is the map. Nothing. Don't see anything in there either. Oh. Ooh. Alex, my love, I found these and decided to save them for a rainy day. Maybe it's time to give them to you. In the beginning, it was meant to be kind of a Christmas or birthday present, but it would have meant admitting that this has become our new normal, and perhaps I'm not ready to accept that there is no better world. You have found a spark to survive what happened, and you know that you will always have an ally in me. Just be careful. I love you, baby. Dad. Aw. Why is that thing popping up? And batteries. I guess because we picked them up. What's this? The first page in a formidable stack. Never forget how Julia would twist her hair between her thumb and forefinger when she was thinking. The way she'd roll her shoulders whenever she'd yawn. Her pronunciation of espresso. 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 Her nostrils flaring whenever I said I'd be ready in five minutes. Her fingernail grazing my palm as she held my hand. Her smile while calling me a nerd. How hard she gripped my hand while watching Alex graduate high school. When she said, I'm never doing that again. After giving birth to Alex, the first time she held Alex, her favorite word was dawdle? The weight of her head resting on my chest. Her tirade about the taming of the shrew. The way even a bad production of Romeo and Juliet would make her cry when she stormed upstairs to take a bath whenever she was angry. Her noble attempt to make Alex a music-themed cake for her 10th birthday. All the stupid notes looked like question marks. Her shiver when I'd kiss her neck. Dang, man. Ooh, what is that? King Lear? Bunch of good books. Bunch of solid books. When books were written that were good. So that was it. We just gotta go to our room now, right? Can we go in here? Nope. Okay.
so what are we making? Like a... Oh, it's a little, it's a, ooh. That like freaking moved when I started talking. So it's a sound thing, a phonometer, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm stupid. This still gets me right here. That's crazy, man. Way to throw in a twist in a story. Absolutely crazy. How long? <gasps> She just locked us in the room. Enough. I won't be your prisoner. Christ, they locked me in here. I need to find a way out. Looks like our way out's that vent. Alright, let's grab our stuff. Oh. I can't grab it. What's that diary say? Oh, I forgot to read these. I had a chat with Dad. Obviously, Dad knew he's the first person I've told. I also told him about the National Guard outpost at the campsite. He wants to help, knowing he's on my side is the only thing keeping me going. I got to get ready to leave this death trap. I must leave this place. A perfect psycho. Mark caught me taking stuff from the storage room and left with a strange smile. That psycho gives me the creeps. He's out of control, especially now that Laura has stopped running things. One more reason to leave. Speaking of, I should finish the phonometer. It could save our skins out there. And then trapped. Laura has crossed the line. Laura never forgave me for what I did to her family, and now she knows I'm expecting her grandchild. But locking me inside my room? I'm sorry, Martin. I know she's your mother, but I won't spend my life in prison because she can't trust me. Sorry, Martin. Yeah, dude, that's gotta suck. Martin wrote this. I think we read this one already. Okay, so we just gotta get out of here. <gasps> oh my god. You were right. It's not safe here. Dad almost got shanked. I was upset, but I never thought she'd lock you up. Grab your things. I'm getting you out of here. Okay. This way. Alright, so Dad's gonna save us. What happened? All I know is I have to follow Dad and get out of here. Through here. Should let you out near the end of this floor. What about you? Oh, don't worry about me. I'll meet you at the camp. Just follow the train tracks. Now go. But Alex, please. We don't have time. Watch our dad die. I told you, I don't know. <gasps> oh no. That's not good. That's not good at all. These things can't come in the vents, can they? <laughs> I really hope they can't come in the vents. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's a person hiding down there. Just stay hidden, bro. Okay, good. He's safe. <laughs> oh, dude, our freaking lungs, man. I keep forgetting that we have asthma. 
Oh, they're freaking red. What is that? Oh, inhaler and pills. Inhaler and pills are used to lower the stress level, avoiding asthma attacks. Pills are consumed the moment you collect them and they manage to lower a small portion of stress. The inhaler can be kept as a consumable and when used, it completely removes stress and gives a temporary immunity. Okay. So take pills when we find them. Store up the inhaler. Gotcha. We keep moving. Dude, our stuff is still orange. Like, can we... I kind of want to... We have five inhalers. <gasps> oh my god. I don't know how... Fast I can move that. Gonna walk slow though. I don't see it. The phonometer shows the noise Alex is making in relation to the environmental sounds around her. Be quieter than the environment, but remember, tape, wires, and wits make up an experiment, not a professional tool. Oh god, that means it doesn't always work? Because, you know, we, we suck? Okay, so we've got level- oh my god, dude. Look, or look at our footsteps go all the way up. What is this? Batteries? Play safe is to play quietly. Oh, dude. Dude, could you, again, like, worst case scenario, guys, we have flipping asthma. We're pregnant. I mean, imagine trying to have little kids, dude. Like, oh, every noise is dangerous. Try to reduce your sound as much as possible by avoiding noisy surfaces or walking slowly on them and hittable objects such as metal barrels and cans. Okay, I think we got that. And I told us that in the beginning, right? Um, I'm so happy, like, you know, like, like little kids, right? So you may tell them to be quiet and they can be quiet, but then they piss each other off. And it's like, at, they have no control over it. They just start screaming at each other. Oh god, yes, yeah, so you gotta move this slow. Some objects can be picked up and moved. They are heavy and they contribute to aggravating Alex's asthma. Try to avoid holding them for too long. Look, I hear that thing. So what we got? Oh, yep. Put that thing down. Okay. Is this? It's like pills. Maybe that'll keep us in the white. Maybe we can open this. Oh, that was loud.
What is that? Bus batteries. I kind of want to see it, man, like up close. I mean, I don't, and I do at the same time. Okay, we got another vent. Dude, I, I don't have asthma, so I don't really know how bad it actually is, but I'm guessing, like, I know it can't be that bad, right? To where when you climb something, your asthma goes off, but I can imagine being under this much stress. Okay, we got this though. We're gonna freaking conquer this. We're gonna avenge. What's his name? Martin. Find a new baby daddy. God, look at our lungs. drop him down into another bedroom patient room whatever you want to call it mom I already checked every inch of this hospital for food even the wings scorched during the fire if I'm not going to hate myself I need to help and if I'm going to help I need to search outside this hospital hope you understand Martin <gasps> Are we in freaking Laura's room? Oh, we probably should not be in here. Probably not the best. <laughs> this is probably not the best place for us to be right now. Is that Martin and his dad? Take that inhaler. Might go ahead and take a puff. Lights over there. Laura, what did Ken say? Because everything is fine. A couple people have left the hospital, but that's good. It means those who remain are actually committed to our community. Just keep resting. I've got this. Mark. Okay, so our dad said something. Alright, oh, so it's Laura, her husband. There's Martin, and there's dad, and... That's too old to be. A is that our mom? I mean, dang, she's hot. Dude, she, she cut us out. She like really, really hates us. That's a good drawing. Oh, I'm gonna take that with me. Deer, rabbits, porcupine, otter. What's this? Oh. That's like really creepy looking, but I like it. Laura, I can't imagine what you're feeling. If you need anything, I'm here, and I know it's not my place to say, but be careful with trusting Mark. All I ask, Kenneth. Oh. Gotcha. Can we get out of here? There's lights over here. Maybe we go around. Nope. Through? No. Oh my god, Is, we have to go out that door?
Yep. Yep. It's gonna crouch. Holy crap. See anything that way? There's something right here. What is this? Laura, we've finished insulating the private rooms and offices. This will allow people to have whispered conversations without risk of being heard by the creatures. However, there is no way we can do this with the large common areas. We just don't have enough insulation or sand. This puts everyone at considerable, constant risk. Even the smallest noise made in one of the common areas could bring those creatures down on all of us. I wish I had a solution, but I don't. Ken. Okay, so our dad is the doctor. But he's also like, a consul like he consults. He's like the wise man here in the hospital. Mark. Oh, it's Mark's room. Can we go in? ho. <laughs> my freaking thing out. Okay. America. What is that? Oh, it's a pillow. Bear, bear, you probably shouldn't be drinking this apocalypse. Just, just saying. I mean, that's really hard for me to say because it's starting to get cold, and I like my stouts. But, uh, ooh, what is that? Oh, <gasps> it's a yes, sir. Those are pills. Just take those. This dude likes his beer. What is that, like 10 pounds? Weak ass. Oh, he has a direct access. <gasps> He's a freaking peeping Tom. All right, let's get out of here. Awareness. You make too much sound, you will trigger the creature that will search for you. You can understand this when this happens by hearing its sound cue. So, if so, get out of there and avoid any noise until you feel the danger has gone away. Okay. So we have a little bit of a leeway, maybe? If we make too much noise, it'll... It'll hunt us first. I think our flashlight is dimming. Oh, that sucks. I don't think I really need it right now, though. It's a really crappy flashlight. Let's just do this. Alright, and then let's bring this thing back out. Oh, God. Oh, my God, dude, that scares me every time. Noise detection. For a more immersive experience, the game includes a noise detection mode which will track every sound your microphone can capture as if it's made by Alex. When the microphone detects a noise and, reproduce, and reproduces it in-game, a microphone icon will show. In some sections, the microphone detection will be deactivated and it will be showed with a barred microphone icon. You can enable the noise detection mode and calibrate your microphone in the gameplay options. Hell yes! Okay, so... Here's our slider, <laughs> and I'm guessing minimum threshold. So we need to put this thing about right here. The way I have my mic set up, I think I can talk quietly and you guys can still hear me. I really, really hope so. I bet if I get excited, it freaking throws it over. So let's turn the sensitivity up just, just a tad. I don't... <sighs> yeah, so if I make popping noises, the blows, the... <gasps> oh, yep. Yeah. 
Okay, so I think that's what we're going to try to do, guys. We're going to stick with this. We'll see anyway. Hopefully it doesn't bother us too much. And I'll try to talk quietly. Okay, guys, so we're going to do our microphone. If you guys don't like it and you just want me to have my normal conversation tone with you, please just let me know in the comments and I will turn that feature off. But I think as long as you guys can hear me, because I like to talk to you guys, I don't want to just play this ASMR or whatever they call it. I think that would be silly. And I know some of you guys can't just sit and watch the show. You have to like kind of put it in the background. So it wouldn't make sense to you if I wasn't talking. So just let me know. Let me know in the comments. We're also playing on... Oop. The microphone came up. Um, we're also, we're also playing on normal. If you want me to crank up the difficulty, let me know. We'll crank it up. had our first death so the microphone sensitivity is a real thing and I don't want to do that again so when these things are around we're not going to talk I'm also going to do my best to not gasp whenever these things are around that sucked that sucked so bad go through me we don't have enough supplies to just be handing out medication to anyone who asks we gotta be smart about it who's been volunteering to go on hunts who's been picking up extra cleaning shifts these are the people we need to prioritize this is how we survive and thrive Mark communist oh my god So I've like, for real, I gotta be quiet. I don't know if I can do this with that microphone turned on, guys. I like talking to you. I really, really like talking to you guys. Let's just get up. We're back at the storage room. Is open now. Is this door open? 
it's not. So in the sand we can walk a little louder, a little faster. So we're about to go into the other room, maybe. This is awesome. I'm not gonna lie, this is so freaking fun. My heart rate's pounding though. Okay. Can't go in there. bit of uh, leeway with that. That would be the only reason why I would ask you guys if you want me to, I'll put it on hard. I don't think we get that leeway. I don't know. I want to have fun playing it though. Like I don't want to just be miserable the whole time. But I think it'll be fun regardless. So just let me know. Leave it in the comments. And smash that like button you like what you see. Right, there's the entrance. What's this way? What is that? Can't go in there. What's the offices? Oh, this is where that chick was. Shut the door. Okay, I think we're safe. Oh my god, guys, I can't. I can't do this. My freaking heart's beating so flipping fast. Beth, if the worst happens to me, will you give this, please give this to my daughter? How do we listen to those? I 
guess we're going to make our way to the entrance. I hope. There's no way I'm getting out that way. The underground garage is my last chance to find another exit. The red LED on top of the fall meter can show you the level of awareness the creature has towards Alex. By default, this feature is turned off, but you can turn it on. That sounds like it may make things easier, so I don't really want to do that. I don't think anyway. sucks. something in here. There's definitely going to be something in this garage. <laughs> Face the creature. Sometimes there might be situations where you'll need to pass through the creature to go to your next objective. Keep your distance, don't make a sound, and find a way out. Are you flippin' kidding me? Try to go this way. Sometimes if you follow them, it's better. Sometimes.
Where's the door? Oh. God bless it. <gasps> no! 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 God, my butthole was puckered up the entire freaking time. I walked across the water, dude, and that thing freaking heard me. I had nowhere to go, so I just ran for it. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I need to end things here. This has been an introduction to A Quiet Place, The Road Ahead. And I'm going to be honest with you. I am having an absolute blast with this. I don't really know what to compare this with other than Alien Isolation. Except this feels worse. Because I can't make a noise. Hell, I can't even talk. Which reminds me. If you like the mic feature and you want me to keep it on, I will. I know I'm talking quietly, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I think I've got the settings in OBS just right for that. Um, but if not, just let me know. We'll turn the mic feature off because I'm sure there's going to be plenty more times where I die in this. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this, please don't forget, smash the like button, leave a small comment if you haven't already subscribed to the channel as I'd love to have your support. Nevertheless, stay frosty, stay mad, and I'll see you all in the next one.